Hi, we're Jack and Gab. For the past five months, we've been traveling the world together. For us, travel means discovering what a country is all about, which typically means heading outside of city limits. And that's exactly what we decided to do by visiting Estonia's Lema National Park. Estonia's territory is made up of roughly 50% forests and 20% bogs, with over 2,000 miles of coastline along the Baltic Sea. This makes Lema National Park, a gorgeous coastland known for its lush forests and red bogs, a great representation of Estonia as a whole. So we couldn't resist escaping Tallinn to explore this beautiful national park with the help of our awesome guide from Prangli Travel. We are all bundled up and we're heading to meet our tour guides that head up to the park now. Yeah, it should be a chilly day, but thankfully there's no rain in the forecast or anything like that. So I think we're gonna have a great time. After meeting up with our guide and taking a quick drive east of Tallinn, we made it to our first stop, Yagala Waterfall. We are headed down to the base of the falls. It's pretty cool. So cool. I can't believe we're not even in the park yet. I want to have a picnic right here. It's so cold. I mean, not like today, but like on a warm summer day, you'd have this beautiful waterfall to look at. This is a pretty great start, isn't it? That was pretty cool. Yeah, it's beautiful here. Absolutely. Nice and scenic. Absolutely gorgeous. Now we're gonna hop back in the van and head to the actual park because I don't even think we're technically inside the park yet. After another quick ride, we arrived at Viru Raba, a beautiful bog surrounded by forests. Alright guys, we just got to this really, really beautiful forest here. And there's snow on the ground. We haven't seen snow in such a long time. And it's just so beautiful and peaceful here. And our guide Andres is just super nice and really knowledgeable. I can't believe how quiet and peaceful it is here. And I can't believe there's snow on the ground. Like what? It's too early for that. Silence is everywhere, and you're not. We are walking along a path that is next to the reddest bog I've ever seen. We are on a path going straight through the middle of this bog. It's like trees on both sides. It's got that reddish color of the water and it's just a really unique place to be. As we cautiously made our way through the bog, everything felt foreign and mystical to us. Our guide, Andreas, helped provide the context behind this intriguing landscape, pointing out plants that are supposed to cause hallucinations. Eventually, we found ourselves at the observation tower. We climbed to the top and were amazed at the panoramic views of the surrounding bogs and forest land. We got some pretty epic views from on top of this platform. It is pretty cold. I feel like the wind is getting at us better from up here, but the views are really worth it. At this point, the cold was starting to get to us. Plus, we were also pretty hungry. We headed to a casual spot in a local village to warm up and grab a bite to eat. Once we were sufficiently full and warm, Andreas decided it was time to introduce us to something a little more dangerous. Okay, Estonian swinging, here we go. When the swing goes up, 
down. I need you to try that for you. So when the swing goes up, <laughs> we push down. Sorry, if the swing comes down, we push down. Yeah, okay. do that. We got it. Got it. Hello, little kids, come on, please. Sorry. <laughs> the younger you are, the bolder you are. <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> After barely escaping death by Estonian swing, we made our way through a small fishing village and out to the coast of the Baltic Sea. It's so peaceful. There's just a tiny little village of people that live near it. And they've just got like all these plants swaying in the breeze and it's quiet, it's peaceful. It's so beautiful. As we stood on the vast coastline of the Baltic Sea, it was hard to believe that Finland was just beyond the horizon, less than 50 miles away. With the combination of jagged coastline, pristine beaches and bright, beautiful waters, it took us as no surprise that the beauty of the land is a great source of pride for Estonians. We were admiring the serene and peaceful surroundings when Andreas decided it was time to introduce us to another Estonian tradition, the fortune pile. Box. Grab a rock, uh -huh. and then there's a fortune pile. And then you just have to throw it there. If uh -huh. it bounces out, sorry. Huh. If it doesn't bounce out, it sticks. Your wish will come true. Oh, give it a try. Yeah. All right, what do I wish for? No, you can't tell us. All right, I know what I'm wishing for. Did it make it? No? Yeah. No. That's terrible, Ian. So there's no way to make it in. Wait. It's just so beautiful here on this North Shore. Finland's only like 90 miles that way, 90 kilometers that way. It's almost so beautiful that you forget your fingers are frozen, <laughs> but not quite. <laughs> At our last stop of the day, the historic Sagadi Manor, we got a glimpse into the Ritzier side of Estonian history. All right guys, now we're here at Sagadi Manor, which is this really cool old German manor dating back to like the 18th century. It's got this big old manor house, and there's actually a hostel here and a museum, and our guide told us that it's actually a really popular spot for weddings. So it's a really pretty area. I mean, it's a pretty cloudy, overcast, gross day, but I mean, it's still really pretty. In Estonia, life was definitely good if you married rich. So we're walking around the back part of this mansion and there's a body of water back here that legend says the old owner of this place had a wife that loved bodies of water. Bodies of water were her one true passion. So I guess he like secretly constructed this man-made pond back here. So she must have been like a pretty awesome lady. Don't go expecting bodies of water. But they're my only true passion. <laughs> Our day in Lema National Park is something we'll never forget. The beauty of the Estonian wilderness really validated our view that in order to truly see a country, you've got to leave the city limits far behind. Lastly, we want to give a big thank you to Prangli Tours for accommodating us. If you're interested in seeing the natural beauty of Lema National Park for yourself, check out the link to the tour down below. As always, thank you so much for watching. I'm not freezing, you're freezing. Oh yeah, I'm freezing. I'm trying real hard not to slip. <laughs> so super on this bridge. Don't fall, babe. There's a lot of water. You would be very cold and unhappy. I'm thinking this is a wonderfully peaceful place. <laughs> What are you doing? 